Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel. So in this new lesson of uh, ZBrush, we'll learn the new features of Curve Brush here. So as you can see, I have Curve Tube selected here. Okay, so this is what I have on my screen, the Curve Tube, it is already selected. So there are a couple of new uh, features that were introduced inside uh, the Curve of uh, ZBrush 2000 and uh, 21.6.2 basically is 0.6 but the one I'm using is uh, 2021.6.2 so I will take this curve tube and as you know with the curve tube we can create something like this okay and you can see the issue right over there it is going through the eye and this part so this is a big issue here now uh, one thing I'll do here is that I will go to the stroke because I don't want to create this sort of a curve I want this end to be uh, like pointy so what I will do here is that I will go to the stroke option here first of all let's dock it here so we don't have to go back and forth there here in the curve option I will see the uh, I will go to the curve uh, modifier here so inside the curve modifier i have the curve of fall off okay and i have the curve editor radius so i will reduce the radius here to one something then i will go to the curve fall off and in the curve fall off i will flip to a flip vertical and now if i will create it okay so it will be something like this let's uh turn on the size from here and now if you will see i will get this sort of a uh, curve okay but still this issue is there now how to solve this issue now in this uh, new uh, feature of 2021.6 the, the curve can be fixed with the repel strength and repel fall off so how do we get that let's undo this first here now if i will go to the curve option here you will see that i have repel strength and repel fall off so the repel strength i will change it to something around four and now if i will create it that same curve and you will see it is not going through the eye part why because it is repelling there is a repel strength which is four so what it is doing is that it is trying to repel from the mesh itself so wherever i will go and draw this it will always repel it with this amount four okay if I undo this, okay, and if I will increase it even more, and then I will try, so you can see it is repelling more. So that's what we can do with this repel. And uh, apart from repel, we have here uh, like fall off. Okay, so let's change it back to four. So repel fall off is right now two. So as you can see this is what we are getting with the fall off now if i will reduce the fall off okay to something like 0 0.01 which is completely slower like a lower so you can see the fall off here it's now increased okay and if i in uh, like increase this one okay to around 10 and then draw something so you can see it is now more sticking okay to my mesh okay so that's what it, it is doing so this sort of uh changes you can work with if you have the uh, if you want to apply uh like a repel uh, with higher or lower value so usually i keep it something around two or three to get this sort of a result okay so let's undo that and let's see what else we have here so what i will do i will create a, a curve here now after making curve what if i want to move this curve from this side 
Okay, so you can see I can move it. It is moving the whole curve. Okay, in and out. And if I want to move from the ends, I can do that too, just like this. But here I have two options in the, cur uh, in the curve feature. That is bend, start, and bend, end. So if I will click on bend, end, and then I will move from here. So you can see only the end, okay, sorry, the, the bend start, okay, only the starting point, which is this point, is it's not moving at all the end is moving okay so let's undo that and if i will turn on the bend end and if i will start moving you can see only the starting point is moving the end part is as it is and if i will turn both of them on and try to move so you can see the start and the end are now more st sticking to its own position only the middle part is moving Okay, so this is what you can do with the bend start and bend end. Let's undo this all. And let's see what else we have inside our uh, new uh, curve options. So let's, let me uh, make a uh, side view. I will just look at the side view and I will create a curve here just like going in this way and if I will turn that on so you can see that let's do one more thing let's undo that let's make it here to make it a little bit more obvious or okay yeah that's fine now what I want to show you here is that if you will notice from the left side when I created it is penetrating to this uh, like inner uh, like surface of of the face sometimes most of the times you don't want this okay you want it to draw the curve right on the top of your mesh so how we can solve this issue so let's undo this go back to the left view and then here on the top we have picker inside the picker we have depth in the depth right now once z is on so if i will turn on the closest z so what it will do is that it will take the z axis the closest part of the z axis and it try to stick the curve onto that surface so if i will draw the curve now so you will notice it is not penetrating on the eye anymore okay so let's undo and let's i will try my best to draw over the eye i just want to move this curve over the eye but it's not going on the eye itself okay because it is calculating the surface and it's trying to keep this curve on the surface so with this new picker closes z you will solve that issue that we were facing before now we have here for this z so if i will draw with that so you will see it will oops it will take the farthest point and then it will connect to it so you can see this is also connected whereas if i will use the closest z and draw the same thing this bottom part is repelling okay but if i will use the farthest okay and draw it so you can see it is trying to stick the whole thing there trying its best to stick there then you can move it a little bit out or then you can fix it okay so because it is taking the farthest point to do that so to better demonstrate if i will draw here from the top and then you can see that here it is the farthest point and where it reaches the farthest point then it will move it on the top okay and the same thing if i will do with the closest z okay so you can see everything here is the closest part is from here and then it starts going straight so this is a little difference here so depending on what kind of result you are uh, looking for you can use this now one interesting thing now we have inside the curve um, brush okay uh, we have the curve uh, in the curve brushes we have 
now alphas we can now use alpha so i can go to the alpha and i can choose any alpha okay suppose the star alpha and i can make any sort of interesting feature uh, like stuff here and you can see what's going on okay very interesting okay and this is this sort of result i'm getting here and let's do this and then i can use here a different one let's let's try to use this okay and this looks like ha uh, hair strands okay so many different things you can do now with the curve because now alpha is work uh, we have the alpha okay we can create mustache we can make weird looking beards so many things we can do that okay so we can reduce the size of it make different sort of things so this is it's a it's a game changer so i really like this uh new curve alpha uh like feature inside this new 2016 like uh, like 2021.6 uh version so i hope uh you have learned something from this lesson and thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and how to receive all your support continuously i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents i will be uploading soon if you like my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request i have and that is i have noticed that some of viewers do not watch my videos online and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing the same then please stop them because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off and uh it will surely demotivate me and i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me to get new subscriber i will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute